So welcome to another video. This one is a little bit different. Uh, I've got myself a new toy recently. Um, just, uh, what are we, Thursday? So I got it last Friday. Um, and since then I've been making uh, what you can see in front of you. So uh, let's just have a quick look at what I've got. So I don't know if you can make out amongst all the uh, clutter on my desk, uh, but I've got a 3D printer. And uh, this is the one. It's uh, a Creality 3D Ender. Um, and it prints off uh, these plastic spools. Uh, one kilogram of uh, plastic. Gets fed down the tube and uh, into the printer or the nozzle, which is that little brass thing there. Uh, which then proceeds to print out stuff on the base plate. Um, it's a glass glass base plate. You can see the remnants of uh, some of the previous prints I've done. Um, so I've been playing with this. It's been on all almost constantly for the last week. And uh, I've managed to uh, produce uh, all this stuff. So let's have a look at what we've got. So uh, I started off... Um, with producing some uh, barrels for terrain and uh, this is how they come out now these take um, oh, about f 10, 10 minutes something like that uh, I tend to produce them in batches so uh, I started off with one then uh, uh, three or four then eight and um, eventually I uh, managed to print 60 in one go so that should be enough uh, for uh, getting on with for some terrain. Um, this is uh, how they end up. So uh, two types. This one's uh, an empty barrel. And you also uh, print out the, the tops. Uh, this is a full barrel. Uh, painted up and added some um, oil and rust and uh, grime. And then I went on to some 200 scale tanks, one 200th. Uh, these are Tigers. And, uh, I was really uh, pleased with uh, the detail. Um, these come in four parts, so you get the hull, the tracks uh, are separate, and the turret is separate. The turret will turn. Um, fits perfectly in there. So you get the four pieces printed together and then just uh, glue the tracks on. These are uh, undercoated. So I've done uh, four Tigers so far. Uh, this is a Panzer IV. Again, uh, tracks and uh, hull are separate. And then a little Sherman. Now these take about 20 minutes to print. And um, the cost in raw plastic is about 4p. However, you've got a factor in, obviously, the cost of the machine and uh, the electricity to run it. But um, considerably cheaper than available to buy. So then we uh, up the scale a wee bit and uh, went to a couple of one, one hundredth tanks, so sort of Flames of War type uh, size. Um, and this is a Sherman. I mean, you can tell it's it's printed with the, the little lines on there, but uh, by the time it's painted up and uh, seen at War Games playing distance, I reckon it'll look quite good. So uh, there's a, a little American uh, M10, is it? Uh, not so well up on the uh, Allied stuff as I tend to prefer. Uh, most of my stuff is German or Russian. And then uh, a King Tiger. Oops, there we go. And uh, this one is printed in just in two parts. So you get the, the hull with the tracks and the turret. And then uh, up the scale a bit. So I then went to uh, a 156 scale Kubel wagon. And 
then I went to a Panzer IV. So uh, again, printed in four parts. Um, actually, this one is 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 this one three uh, two two parts. Um, I've used two different uh, models. So uh, they do take quite some time to print. Um, the, on the basic settings, sort of um, the raw settings, if you like, it was about seven hours. On the finest set, or the, not the finest, but a finer setting, well, that one was 11 hours. Um, this one was 18 hours. Um, uh, the finish is supposed to be a bit smoother, uh, and it is, but uh, I'm not sure that it's worth the extra time, to be honest. Um, so I've printed the rest of them at standard settings, sort of, and they've taken between sort of six and nine hours. So I've got three of those. Then I went to a Sherman, and uh, this is uh, four parts, so the tracks come separately. And again, removable turret. Um, this is another Sherman. Uh, that's uh, in the raw format. That one's the other one's been undercoated. Um, then yesterday, I did a Sherman uh, Calliope, um, which has come out really nice. I mean, the finish on those. Uh, tubes there is outstanding really it's not f uh, fitted on yet but, uh, fixed on I'll probably print out another turret and then I'll be able to, I'll just uh, swap in the turrets as as to when when I want uh, the Calliope on top or not um, yesterday during the day I printed out a tiger um, unfortunately it failed right at the last minute, so it prints this way up um, from bottom, layers, 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 all the way up to the top. Um, it got to the very last couple of millimetres and then you can see it failed. Um, the gun was uh, uh, too stringy and it actually just fell, fell apart and um, it got to this stage uh, and something obviously knocked the model and actually the model was, uh, by the time I got home from work, the model was lying on the floor as the uh, printer had, uh, had knocked it I think and um, knocked it over so it didn't finish the top. So I will probably uh, file this down and then either print out a, a track unit or use a track from uh, a kit and just uh, glue the track over the top and then I'll just print out another another turret. So today whilst I've been at work it's printed out uh, a Yag Panther. So that took about uh, eight, 8 hours and 26 minutes and this is how it, it, it prints out. Um, it adds The software adds uh, the support structure so that uh, the printer has something to build upon um, and it's just a case of uh, using some pliers and a uh, craft knife to, uh, I mean you can, it's it's not attached um, solidly, so you just sort of rip all this stuff off and, uh, and you can see the detail below. Um, so again another nice nice kit, as I say you can see the printing lines on it but um, I think when it's painted up and uh, it's on the, mod on the war games table that'll look fantastic. So, uh, that's what I've been doing uh, for the last week um, with my 3D printer. Um, obviously very useful for uh, printing out tanks and vehicles, but uh, also going to use it for uh, some terrain stuff and door frames and window frames for my um, uh, foam buildings will be handy and other bits and pieces of terrain. So. Um, uh, limitless opportunities. Oh, excuse me. Limit limitless opportunities, really, and uh, some good fun 
along the way. Oh, I, I should say that um, the raw cost of the plastic in one of these is about 45 pence, uh, obviously plus the uh, electricity and wear and tear on the machine, but um, as opposed to 18, 20 quid, um, and the, uh, the you know the uh, warm glow that you get from uh, making it yourself. Although these are obviously other people's designs, um, I'm currently uh, learning um, the CAD software so that uh, I can produce my own stuff, and I've managed to uh, design a barrel so far. I haven't printed it out yet, uh, so uh, that's the first thing that will be my own my own design and then uh, hopefully if I can learn the software properly I'll start be able, being able to produce some uh, more adventurous stuff but uh, that's it for now um, thanks for watching